those off. They're stuck in there. Right? That's on there, that's on the output, the contact. Power's off. So it's stuck in. It takes the breaker out straight away. So it's not looking good, that probably runs a compressor. Right, we've got two heaters here. Might have one in the drain panel, I'm not sure. Don't think so. Uh, and they run off of three and four. One and two run the fan motors. Uh, so one, two, fan motors, three, four heaters, and five and six. I think on well, that flex, which I think is on the uh, solenoid. And that's a heater contact and the two breakers that one was on these two were off I think this one's showing a short we turn them off for now and that's our three phases there but looking at this there's nothing connected to the grey and the black there's only on the brown which is number three and then the four Let's go, which is here, it goes over to a neutral. So we disconnect the neutral and the line, and then we mega it because that was a bit earthy. So it could be them heaters have failed on this one. I see, contactor. Five megaohms and says two contacts are shorted out. I compare that to the ones on the opposite side. Sixty-one megaohms. So we've shorted out the two phases. That's that one there. And then we're looking at this one that's stuck in. I think that one's done the same. It's point two between two of the pins, and I've took the wires out um, the other end, so they're not touching anything. That contact is stuck in, so I think that is shorted out inside as well. Got a new contact. Huh? Um, I'm going to borrow these two auxiliaries from uh, the next panel with the other faulty contact, which we're not going to get going today. Um, so we're using them two, and the spare one there, to do the same job as what that one did. Never 
Lorraine Ponce, 